Tehran's Grand Bazaar. There are few places that better reflect the expectations here as the negotiators head to Europe. Many people here want to do business differently. They've watched the sanctions really affect their bottom line. The prices of ordinary goods have gone up exponentially. Meanwhile, the money has gone through the floor. You need a wad of cash to be able to buy a day's supplies. Just to give you an idea, right now to buy a pair of these, it costs you one of these, which is 100,000 rials. 10 years ago, you could have bought four pairs with this one. So people want the sanctions lifted. And as the negotiators head to Europe, they're being sent off with a lot of demands. Those demands include lifting the sanctions. Of course, they want a better economy. They want better relations with the rest of the world. And most of all, they want things to be easier for their daily life. Recently, the economic uh, is a stop. Somehow, you know, it is stopped. And does, it has no progress. And uh, nothing has happened and everybody is waiting mm, majority of people they don't know what we are waiting for there are other demands being sent off with the negotiators one comes from the lawmakers in parliament yesterday they voted to prevent any inspections of military sites under a deal they also voted to prevent any interviews with iranian nuclear scientists they sealed that vote with chance of death to America. Now, many people we've talked to say that voice does not represent them. The feeling here is one of anxiousness, but also one of hope. Nalayed, CBC News, Tehran.